hello hello so today I just wanted to show you the couple of things that I got at the San Francisco pen show and I also got a little shipment of ink from the sidewalk sale from Atlas Stationers so I thought I would just combine them together and we could swatch out a couple of inks and take a look at the goodies I got so uh, I ended up going to the San Francisco pen show I had never been to a pen show before so I I had watched videos and everything and I kind of knew what to expect but I was still kind of taken aback by the amount of pens and also kind of like the fatigue you get from looking at all the pens <laughs> like when you look online you look at these and they're kind of singular and they have a photo and you're you're immersed into that world of that pen and that story but when you get to the pen show there's multiple tables different makers and just hundreds of different pens so I found it a little hard to navigate uh, as to what I was really interested in anymore or uh, I had a list of things that I wanted to look at but <laughs> I ended up missing some time I mean I went around probably the pen show I don't know 20 times I was there for like hours but I just kind of found like I was losing focus and like everything looked amazing and I didn't know how to sort of compare things that I liked with other things that I liked and so I ended up not getting any pens and I'm totally fine with that and I kind of went in thinking I wouldn't get any pens but I really really wanted to just try some out. I've always wanted to try a sailor so I got to try all the different nib sizes in that and uh, to my surprise they're actually really nice. I thought they'd be really feedbacky like everyone says they have a bit of feedback but I really liked the medium fine nib so that was really good to try out. So that's kind of the best part about a pen show because there's just everything that you could imagine that you've probably been looking at you can try out and talk to the makers if you want. I'm actually kind of like a socially anxious person <laughs> so I didn't really talk to the vendors a lot. I'm okay once I get talking but just the first introduction and stuff is weird and I also got to meet some fellow inky youtubers which was really fun. I bumped into Manda B from Manda Ink Splat and Maria and also Simone and so we kind of uh, bumped into each other early on on Saturday and then we sort of went our separate ways and then met up for lunch which was really fun so we had like a 10-15 minute walk to where we we're eating which was in and out which is delicious if you haven't had in and out you should um, but anyway that was fun and it was just close so we just decided to go there so we we met up for lunch and we looked at each other's purchases and just talked and everything and it was just so comfortable and nice and they're, they're really as nice as you think they are from their videos. They're exactly like that. So it was really lovely to meet them in person. So that's probably the, the best part of the show is just kind of catching up with people. And it just made the whole experience much more rich. And I just felt like I wasn't as alone. Although it is nice as well just walking around by yourself because you have your own agenda. So I had a really good blend of sort of hanging out with people and being comfortable. And then also just going off on my little dork tour around things and stopping and <laughs> looking at stuff so yeah if you're thinking about going you should totally go to one it's really fun even if you're by yourself you can have a good time if you just sort of relax and get into it it is very overwhelming with the amount of stuff to look at as well as the amount of people but uh, yeah it's it's really fun I recommend it so I have no pens to share but I will show you the little things that I did get so I knew that I wanted to get a rickshaw case so I ended up getting this Sinclair one and uh, I first saw this I think on Simone's channel and she has hers with a little insert in it so I ended up getting this one here so I could put it in here as well so you could fit two pens in here and then this is kind of loose so you can put whatever you want in here and then there's three slots here so uh, it took me ages to kind of decide what I wanted I knew I wanted the teal interior uh, but they have all kinds of different patterns but I kind of really liked this this is called clay and then I think this is teal inside um, but uh, I wanted to get a little sleeve that kind of coordinated with it so these two little labels here are the same and then the inside is the same which I think is really nice and then this is I didn't actually know this was the inktopus I couldn't see it when I was looking at it I just really liked all the swirls in the background and then I thought this was kind of some kind of filigree pattern and then when I brought it home my um, son asked me what I had got at the show because they're all very excited that I went <laughs> which is funny um, and he goes oh yeah I like the octopus and I'm like what and then I realized that it's an octopus. Uh, I'm, I'm probably sure you guys are, were able to see that straight away but I don't know I just didn't see it so that's kind of cool um, but I just like the abstract nature of it anyway so I thought it was kind of nice and it worked 
well with this. So that's really lovely. Then the other thing I got was this little pack of paper. Well, actually they came in singles. So they had this like a little desk with, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 different types of paper, maybe less, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, they had these little stacks of paper that you could try out and then you could buy them separately. So I just chose the Cosmo Air Light because I've been wanting to try that and then the bank paper. So you can see these are almost the same width here. So this bank paper uh, has like 40 more pieces in it. So I'm guessing this is a very thin paper. I did try it out and it was really nice. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it would be fun if I'm swatching inks or testing out uh, different inks to see how it acts on different paper. Um, yeah, so I thought these were really fun. Um, and the store was just so lovely. Like the people there were so, I don't know, really sweet. And they took their time sort of packaging this up and making it look really nice. They, you know, gave it to me with two hands. Like it was a very precious item. And I just felt that love for their products. It was just really sweet. So that was a, that was a nice experience. So the other two things I got were these two inks from Andorillion. I actually got this one first, I think before I went to lunch. Uh, I tried all of their, they had like a little table and you could try out their inks and uh, I just really, really liked it. Oh, you know what, I gotta grab my little ink journal, one second. So I bought this little set of uh, Kakuyo binders and these just fit like 20 pages in it. Uh, I got it in a set of three, so there's this one plus a clear one, and you can just grab them on Amazon. I can put the link in the description if you want to check them out. So this just has the Kokuyo Sarasara paper in it, but I also taped in a page from my journal because I didn't want to take my big journal in case I lost it or anything, or it's just kind of bulky. I just put this in here so I would know what the inks looked like on here. But I also did a bunch of testing at the little ink tables. So how this connects to the inks is that, um, let me see, where is it? So I was using this to try out the different colors and the first one I tried was the Flying Blue Squid. And I didn't end up buying that the first time that I went around, <laughs> but I did end up buying this one because it's just this gorgeous sort of beige, warm beige. And I just, that is my jam. I really love those colors. But this blue one, like I am just not a blue person and I, I, I don't know, it, it's just so rich and beautiful and it has this amazing red sheen. And so when I got back from lunch, I ended up going and getting this guy as well. I just thought it was fun to get something at the show. I, I kind of regret not getting any of the SF Pen Show exclusives, uh, but you know, next time. <laughs> I just really didn't know what to prioritize or anything. Okay, so let's put these aside and let's unbox the stuff from Atlas and then we'll get around to swatching. Oh, what's this one? I did not order this. This must be a freebie. It is, yay. I asked them to pull my order live on TikTok and so sometimes they throw in little freebies. So I think this is that really black ink from Platinum. Oh, that's interesting. And I did actually order one more ink, which was the Jacobin Shogun, but they were out of that. So I didn't end up getting that. They sent me an email to let me know that that wasn't coming and that I could buy it again at when they get it back in stock, which was kind of a bummer. But anyway, very, very sweet. And they said I could get it for the same price as the sidewalk sale, which was very nice. So uh, I will hopefully get that when it comes back in stock. But yeah, let's have a look at these. So I end up getting Sailor Manual, uh, Shirakashi. So this is a gorgeous sort of uh, dirty green or olive, olive greenish brown. So that's really nice. I tried a sample of it and I really, really liked it. So I thought I would grab it while the sidewalk sale was on because they had, um, I think it's at least 15% off this. So this was awesome. So I got that. And I actually bought this one with my affiliate credit. So all you guys who have been using my uh, affiliate links, thank you so much. I was able to get this in nice sailor ink with that. So that was really cool. And then these ones I got African gold because I have a sample of it and I have pretty much used it all up and I really love it. So I thought this would be great. Uh, during the sidewalk sale, they were all 15% off. So I was really excited to get my hands on a whole bottle of that, which will be really nice. And then these two actually I haven't tried, but I thought I would just go for it because I've seen swatches and they looked like I would really like them. <laughs> so hopefully I will. So this one is Mystic Storm and this one is Detox. 
So let's get to swatching and try them out. Oh, oh, and these two guys. So I kind of threw these in to qualify for shipping and these were on sale. So these are some interesting little jelly rolls. I think this one is purple and silver. So the ink is purple, but then when you write with it, it has a little bit of a silver outline to it. And then this one is gold and black. So the same kind of thing, like the inner color would be black and then the, the edges are going to be gold. And jelly rolls are really great. They seem to perform really well. I have a couple of different ones. So I just thought these would be a fun little thing to try out. And they were very inexpensive. So that was kind of cool. Okay, so let's get to swatching. Okay, so I'm just going to do the swatching on some Kaguyo paper. Oh, and I might do some on these guys too, just to have a look and see the difference. That might be fun. All right, so let's start with our Andrewillian inks. So we have two here and they both have different lids, which is interesting. <laughs> so let's do the light one first, which is the Tulp Moth Warm. And I don't think, I think it's pronounced Tulp or Tulp. I think the E is silent, but please correct me on that if I'm wrong. And they're just in this little jam jar. And when I opened it, it wasn't right to the top, which is nice. So it's not going to go everywhere. Let's try this one out. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's this gorgeous pinkish taupe color. It's really nice and it dries. I think this when I sampled it before at the pen show, it dried a little bit more sort of beige. Um, some of that pink came out of there. But it is a really gorgeous color and very readable. Okay, so the next one is the Flying Squid Blue, which is just a great name. And this is a really deep, dark, rich blue with amazing red sheen. And even as it's drying, you can see sort of a little bit of tealish green in here then to the blue and almost a little bit of purple in there and that red sheen is already coming through on the edges it's just such a vibrant color and you know I didn't think I liked blues but this one is really beautiful okay so let's do our Robert Osters next so the first one is my favorite African gold and it's looking quite yellow but it actually dries to this sort of honey brown color. It's so beautiful with lots of shading. So you can already see it drying up here. And on some papers, it looks a little bit green, like it has a bit of a green undertone to it. I just really love it and I'm so excited to have a full bottle of that. Which one should we do next? The Detox or the Mystic Storm? I think we should do the Mystic Storm. So I think this one is a special edition. Uh, ink so I'm not sure if they're going to be selling it forever or if it's part of their normal line or something like that let's try it Ooh, it goes down a very sort of grayish blue but I think it has maybe some duo shading in there or it definitely the swatches online made it look a little purple but either way I like it already Yeah, so you can see there's some pink coming through here. It's quite a nice dark ink actually, but definitely some duo shading, pink and purpley blue. Bits of gray too. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, and then our last one, Robert Oster is Detox. So I think this one's kind of like a, a olivey green tea green. Ooh, oh, that is nice. Oh, that's beautiful. It's kind of like uh, matcha. Do you guys like matcha? I have it every morning in a matcha latte, which is probably uh, not such a sophisticated drink, but <laughs> I just mix it with like a, tea a big heap teaspoon of matcha and some collagen powder and I mix it up put a little bit of half and half and then hot water and whiz it with the whizzy make it nice and frothy oh my gosh I love that drink okay what am I writing detox oh this is this is really nice guys it's got some sort of 
khaki green in here and then it has a bit of vibrant green there. I'll be really interested to see how that dries. But um, yeah, and we can see that that sheen coming through on the flying squid up there. But oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. I am not regretting getting full bottles of either of those. And I don't tend to buy full bottles, but they were such a good price. And I thought I could swap some with people as well if they wanted it. But yeah, oh, that is so nice. And it's got some beautiful shading in here. I kind of hope that that dries the, the duotone there because there's sort of a yellowish green or khaki green and then the vibrant matcha green in there. That is so nice. Okay, so then let's do our Sailor and our Platinum. So we have the Sailor Shirakashi. I gotta get my palette knife so I don't rip the box. This is my first bottle and probably my last <laughs> bottle of Sailor ink unless it goes on sale again but you don't really need 50 mils of anything but look at that oh, it they are stunning bottles I know I'm super late to the game but really the design is absolutely beautiful Ooh, and this looks quite bluish green in the bottle I think it dries a little um, browner though so that's always interesting to me when the color in the bottle is so different to when it dries oh, look at that wow that really looks like abandoned shipyard the Birmingham Pens Co one that I just bought a million liters of but whoa this is drying a lot browner this is a little different to the sample that I got but it is amazing I love it okay very dark in the text here but this also was very dark and it's drying much lighter so we'll have a look when it dries but but you can see in the lid look how green that is oh I love it wow and it's really changing in here it's such a beautiful color and then the last one is this little freebie that we got from Atlas oh my gosh look at that bottle that is beautiful. Okay, so I believe this is a very, very dark black. It might actually be a pigment ink. I wonder if I need to shake it. I think I'll just give it a little, a little shake. I'm gonna try not to get too much. Whoa. It's a very warm black it, when it's wet. I'm not, not sure what it's gonna dry like very thick too. I think that's probably because it's a pigment ink. I think it's a pigment ink. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll get back to you guys. Yeah that is a very opaque black. Yeah. That'd be a good sketch ink. Very bl matte black. Very warm black. So I think that's all my inks. Oh you know what? We forgot to test it on this paper. Ooh the Cosmo air light is a little bit cream cream colored and this is uh, 75 grams or 75 GSM and then the bank paper is also a little cream colored this one is almost half the weight Ooh. some paper ASMR for you very thin Okay, so all these samples are dry now. I ended up doing them on these little papers as well, just for fun. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. But let's look at these up close. So this is our Andalusian top moth, and it kind of went down a lot pinker, and it is dried a bit more of a beigey kind of color, which is really, really beautiful. That might be one of my favorite, like a little bit of a pinkish beige. And then we have the Andalusian flying squid blue, and you can see that gorgeous sheen on this paper. Let's have a look at it actually on this as well. So yeah, so the Cosmo Air Light did amazing sheening. So that's really cool and the color is pretty similar. 
but the bank paper doesn't show any of that sheen, which is interesting. Similar colors, but uh, just does not have the dimension that it does on, on the other two papers. But that is just, isn't that gorgeous? That's why I love this campus uh, Kokoyu Sarasara paper, because it shows all the properties. You get a bunch of shading, you get that sheen, and uh, it just, I really love it. And I have the lined version as well, and um, I like to do my like writing samples on that. So I just think it's a really good paper to show all the different properties. It also shows shimmer really well as well, but none of these have shimmer. Okay, our next one is Robert Oster Detox. Look at that shading in here. And this is just an amazing color. Uh, and then we have the Mystic Storm, which does have a little, I thought it would have a little more uh, duo shading in there. It did go down fairly sort of dusty, it's dusty blue and it ended up drying quite purple and it does have a little bit of pink in there there's not much shading in the text but uh, yeah it's a beautiful color it's really lovely and I wonder in a fountain pen whether it's going to be this light color here uh, and whether they'll show more shading with that but we'll see and then we have my one of my favorites the Robert Oster African Gold beautiful as ever and then we have the Sailor Menu Shirakashi so this one dried really interesting. It has a lot of this khaki green color here, but then where, where it's oversaturated, it's almost, I don't know, it's almost a bluish, tealish color. And then it has this gorgeous halo of almost reddish brown. So just a super interesting color. I love that color. And then the platinum chukuro, chukuro. I'm not sure how you say that, sorry. Uh, is yeah pretty matte and it actually feels has kind of a really chalky kind of texture i don't think it comes off no but it just has a really interesting suede kind of texture on there so i think guess that's the uh, pigment in the ink but yeah so there's all of our colors and i just wanted to show on these pieces of paper so we've got the bank paper and the cosmo air light and I just wanted to show you African gold. Don't worry about that little green bit there. I had some ink on um, on my finger <laughs> that I ended up putting on there, but just the, the color change between those two papers. And then look at the Shirakashi. Look, I mean, completely different color. So this is the bank and this is Cosmo Air Light. So the bank is more like this one here, which is the campus, Kukuyo. But it's still, it's even sort of more brownish color here. This is much more green. So all, pa all these three papers show this ink pretty differently. And then Robert Oster, let's see, I think that turned out pretty different too. So these are all the, the three different ones here on the different paper. Look at it there. It's just completely different. A lot more blue in it. And yeah, just super interesting. The different paper, how it changes the color that much. Yeah, so there's our little sampling of inks. Interesting, I really enjoyed doing them on these. I'll, I'll have to try it with the fountain pen and see uh, how much shading uh, and sheen shows up with those. I already know that this paper performs really well, but very interesting indeed. So before we go, I just wanted to show you how I'm using my little Rickshaw Sinclair. So uh, in the front here, uh, there's not much room because I've stuffed it with pens, but I just have my little uh, writing glove in here in case I'm uh, writing and I don't want to get oil, hand oils on the paper. And then I have a little list of the pens that I have in here. And then I open it up and these zippers are smooth and amazing, really easy with the little pulls. And then inside we have this luscious, soft, uh, plush material here. And I have, what do I have in here? I have my Jin House Centennial. I have my Majon A1. I have a little Caveco black with a gold trim. And I have this little two piece in here, which is easy to leave in there and just get your stuff out. I have my Benu Euphoria and Gold Coast, my Eco Twisby White. Uh, I have a Sharpie because Sharpies are always useful and it has a fine point and a ultra fine point. And I have my little um, Kakuno, my Ferris Wheel Press Carousel, my Dinao 82 
and then a multi pen which this is actually really cool it's the little uh, monograph multi from Tumbo and it has a black a red and a pencil and you just twist this and it clicks that out and as you go to the next one it pops in so when you're storing it you just kind of have it in between each spot and then it has this little twist up eraser which is super smooth and cool so yeah I love this little guy um, you just got to kind of go halfway to put it in but it's a nice slimline multi pen so I just like having that to be able to use whenever and uh, it had the, the the black and the red are this really fine sort of I think it's maybe by 0.3 it's very very fine small writing so really really good and then you just zip it all back up and look at that it's beautiful nice and secure so I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today about the SF pen show as well as the Atlas Stationer sidewalk sale so I'll put all the links to all these goodies in the description uh, I'll also put my uh, coupon code in there for Atlas Stationers you can get 10% off I really appreciate you guys using that it's so fun when I see an order come through and I got like a little percentage back from it and it enables me to uh, keep buying lovely inks and such so I really do appreciate that it really 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 helps and is also just really lovely to, to see the support so thank you again and I will see you guys in the next one bye